I'm a Steve. Damn it. Okay, just joking. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Crystal Park, where I am still a Steve. Yeah, I don't know what's happened, but for some reason I'm a Steve. This feels so unnatural. My hand, it looks so strange. Right then, um, let's weird weird introduction. So I walk back to Fraser Park, and today, yeah, a big day. This is probably going to be our most ambitious rescue mission since eh, I guess episode three. That's probably the most ambitious thing we've done so far. So this series, this is the end of this, this series, most ambitious rescue mission so far, probably whole series. Now. Before we get to that, we gotta go see an old friend. So, back in episode five or six, yes, yeah, six, episode six of season one, I brought this guy back to the park. An adult forest raucous terror bird. Now, these were some of the last members of the terror bird family. However, back in the day, the terror birds there were over twelve species, if not more. Now what I want to do is go back and rescue some of the other breeds of terror bird that lived at different times and see how they were adapted and bring them back to Prestor Park. Which is going to be a bit of a challenge. So thankfully, I enlisted the help of a few new things. But that's a surprise for a minute too. So we've got Paddock over there for one, and then if we come over here, yes, there are quite. A, I'm gonna have three terabits today, three different species. All three are infamous for different reasons. Ah, crap. And Forest Rocks is really the best known terabit. These three are a bit less known. One a lot more. So we have one over, more over here. This is the bigger one. And a, and a smaller one here. Now, there is a terror bird that is not in this mod, which I really wish was called Wild well, Avis, which was discovered in 2015. It's about the size of, um. It's about, the, it's about as tall, if not a little taller, than a Deinonychus. And it, it's basically a shrunken down terror bird. If it was a terror bird, so. If you ask me, that would have made a great pet. So I'm kind of sad that isn't the mob, but there are some other cool hair birds to go rescue. And I still have the M21, because I'm not getting rid of this anytime soon. Well, it's my life. Hello, Sabertooths. I might be seeing some of your kind again pretty soon. Now, an old theory that we have recently been able to dismiss is that the Sabertooths the Smilodon, aka the Save Two Cats, drove Terrabus. They mostly didn't. They fired some competition, but technically they weren't the crucial factor. They helped, but they didn't really do much. They came to provide a competition, but not much else. And Titanus, oh, for sport, one of them. Birds like Titanus, or Arachis, would have definitely been big enough to at least. Challenge them. Right now, just go and talk to Tim. See what he has to say. Tim? Hi, your new toys are here. Try not to break them too much. Also, Ellie wants to see you. It's urgent. Okay. Well, that's um, slightly against my plan, but never thought. Yes, my new, the new vehicles that I ordered about um, two episodes ago are finally here. Go to my happy part. So, come through here. Hello, Sam. You're back again, I see. Hey, boss. Here's the splash across the Try not to break them too quick. Why do everyone assume I'm going to break these things? Right, so here it is. This is what I ordered a uh, Jeep. So, we've got vehicles that are going to be very, very useful to us. Dirt bikes. And a Hummer, which we used once before, but that that was a long time ago. A very long time ago. Jump. 
Ow. Right, Tim. And if I store some of these vehicles here, most of these I've got no. In fact, no. This is what we have a vehicle a vehicle shed for. Gary, this is um, kind of your job, buddy. Um. Right. For this trip, we probably won't need. Um, we'll probably only need one dirt bike. So I'll take the green one. We'll take. We'll take the jeep just in case. Jeep Grant and the um, other jeep. We'll take those just in case. The, the jeep. The red one's gonna probably be the more folks, so we'll take that one just in case. Right, I'll go talk to the vet then. See what the story is. District 6, surgery, here we are. Okay, early what's up? Hi, please sit down. Okay, I'm sitting down then. I don't know Tim has told you, but we've been having some small problems recently. Tim has told me nothing. The horse was supposed to be the only dangerous. Things around here with logic. Heads to security with bird folk. But now both the T Rexes and the Alice have been trying to escape. It's strange that their crazy behavior started soon after we got the new lab up and running. Jake ordered some more guns. Ask Bob if you brought anything new to the animal. Maybe that's why. Alright, uh, I will do that when I get back so I don't complete. In fact, no, I'll do it now so I don't completely spoil my day. Oh, God. Yep, I don't enjoy talking to Bob, as I'm sure we've all realised. Right, I can't be bothered walking the whole way, so, um... Cue the Jeep. Now that, my friends, looks awesome. Getting the engine up and running. Woo! This is slightly difficult to control. Ah, thanks, Oris. Right, um... I'm sure I've said in the uh, other video. Shift and left click. Okay, that's why I am. Right, this we built so we can get up to the mountains quicker. It's not finished yet. But it's basically a gigantic tunnel. Now this leads to... Those ladders lead to the um, research facility. Which then, as we know, there's a bridge from there to the, um, near the lab. <laughs> and I'll probably drive the rest of the way because I can't bother walking. That jeep, those jeeps should make getting around the park much, much easier. We have two trapdoors, this is not all finished yet. Climb up. Close that. Hello, Dan. Hello, Jake. Right then. Yeah, this is going to be something I'm not going to enjoy. Right, let's take the dirt bike. That but can probably move, maneuver across quicker. Well, there's the dirt bike. Oh, but I forgot this. This one's quite loud. The bridge, as you can see, is now um, finished. Right, let's them um, get off that before we um, end up falling off the edge. Because in the bike, that's possible. Normally it isn't, but bike bikes are different than normal. Bikes are very different. It comes off it, nice support, got pillars underneath it, and as a result, it's completely safe. Now we can get moving. Okay, this dirt bike is spazzed out. Alright, let's... And now I have a bent view on reality. I wondered what was causing this. One minute. There, problem solved. And then what causes that? Oh, come on. There we go. Hello, scientists. All busy working away at, yes, unassigned projects. Alright, let's just get up. Uh, we'll make this talk quick. 
get it over with. Right, uh, let's go. Hello, Bob. I need to ask something. Did you bring anything to the island? Like, at all? Hello. What? Did I bring something new? No, don't accuse me again, Greenvale. Ever. Jesus. Okay, he, he, he's not in a good move. What am I saying? He's never in a good move. Still. Right then. Yeah, that guy was not in a good mood at all, right? Um, let's just get this way. Ow, ow. This isn't painful at all. Yeah, I think it would be wise to go to sleep. Oh my god, the lag. Look, sometimes this goes from not laggy at all to incredibly laggy to slightly to... It is just ridiculous. Today they're not being bad. Climb up here. Go to sleep. Yeah. Morning. Alright then. First up on the list, first terror bird. The smallest of the three animals we're going after. Let's just jump in the jeep and I'll talk more about it then. So our target is a terror bird called Gastornus. Which is one of the earlier turbos and these trees do not agree with this jeep. Okay, screw it, I'll walk. There we go. Now guess what's one of the earlier turbos as a result was primitive and also it was also Essentially, the red, the unwanted red-haired stepchild in the family. The terror birds. And you'll see why soon, because Gastonus, well, I will tell you why now. Gastonus is now speculated not to have been carnivorous. Now, some say, some will tell you it's a herbivore. It's a pure herbivore. Some, including me, will tell you it's an omnivore. In other words, it would eat, it ate, it, it ate both. It didn't really care. I think it was probably a bit more inclined to eat veg than it was meat. Calm down, Smilodon, calm down. So we're going back 49 million years ago to the Eocene. Now, this is a very strange time period, so we're not staying long. So I'm not in the mood for being attacked by an Ambulocetus or something. Uh, in Fossil Archaeology mod, add that in the next update. Um, duh, duh. Yeah! So this is the year scene. Looks different from my imagined, but... Very big treat. That's a guest on us. Right, so as you can see, I'm not gonna shoot, don't worry. It's two meters tall, if not tall, so this is as big, if not bigger than me. Crap. Right. Gastornus is meant to be heavy, there so it probably won't attack us, but I'm sure like all animals are territorial. Right, um stand here. There's another one over there. Yeah, these are They seem quite um, nice creatures, or let's see what happens when I hit one. It gets very annoyed. Ah! Come on, man. Come on, Mr. Terrorbird. Crap, ran past it.
Here's a valuable lesson. Terror birds cannot hurt you while you're in a car. And this jeep is amazing. Even though it is having a spaz attack. Ah! This is not normal. Or is it full pro Right. Yeah, this, this bird this bird's out for blood. That's the first time I've ever used those words in a sentence. Time to heal, right. Chance of survival are dwindling into single digits now. Yeah, this is so not remind me of Jurassic Park. Ah! And now this turbot is doing a remake of Roadrunner. This is not so terrifying and is also not going to give me epilepsy. Um, uh, what do I do? What do I do? Uh, right. Um. You still wanna wait, mate? Come on, man. Right. Come on, Mr. Tarbot. Let's go! <sighs> Did it work? Wait, there's two? That's a male and a female. Right, I'm not going too close. I'm not in the mood for being attacked again. Um, the hell? That's a new one. Um, Tim, we have a bit of a situation here. Wait, that's, there's an idea, there's an idea. Um, lock this. Tim can transport these because I'm not doing it. But I've had enough, I've had one bad experience with this bird already. Um, wanna come in here? With the ladders? Um, are there any ladders? Oh, crap. Right. Give. I need ladders. I'll just um do this. This is totally safe. Okay, that that'll do. Food. Alright, wait till we heal a bit. I'm gonna punch them, get them to come into it, and then I'm gonna shut both doors. I'm going to wait till I have at least nearly full health. Next up, and next time, bird is gonna be a lot meaner than this. And a lot bigger. Alright, now seems like a logical... These things are better at biting than I thought! Ow! Yep, I always get killed by herbivorous things, but that time it was my fault. Alright, let's teleport quickly. Right then, that should keep them busy. So I have Tim transport those. Next up is the biggest terror bird. Is one of the, if not rephrase, I'm not sure if it is, but one of the, if not the biggest terror birds ever, Kellington. So here we go. Oh god. Run. <laughs> oh 
I'm sorry, I'm, I'm smiling to the shock of that. I mean, in Clink and I always knew it was big. That that was bigger than our source, nearly. That this is about twenty million years ago, and that's at this point. If and throughout, if you count all of Earth's history, with the exception of from the beginning to the end of Cenozoic, if you don't count the Moa or the elephant bird, that's the biggest terrestrial theropod since the dinosaurs. And definitely the biggest carnivorous one. Which is quite something. Right, I'm gonna move this way. Get the jeep. Look, let's go over this direction. So, 20 million years ago, the earth was changing. So this, is, this is South America. It's last time we were in um, Europe. South America was the only place where the terrapids actually uh, managed to hang on. Okay, that's a, that's a terrapid, right? Um, looks like it's that one's hunting. It's uh, stalking those um, horse relatives. I don't know what exactly they are. Also, also animals with now. Okay, it's night. All right, so. I think it would be smart in this situation would be to wait until day. So we'll be back in a minute. Hmm. There we go. It's the magic of speeding up time. Now then, alright, we've done this before once or twice with some crazy ideas. Now this with raptors and triassols. And they're related, so you can sneak around and you actually be able to get right next to this giant. Oh crap. Yeah, I think it's something. Particular hunting, mate! Yep, run! This was only a perspective on rushing! No, 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 you're not killing me. There's a rephrase. Ouch. That was even more painful than Gastonis. At least the Gastonis was easy enough to survive once you got in the. Well, once you got inside. So it bit you, obviously. Okay, but definitely only bringing one of those back. Just like driving the jeep. Ugh. I wonder if Tim's got the um, Gastonis stuff. He, he should have because the way time travel works, a day in their time is about two, three days in our time. Don't ask me how exactly it works, but it does. That's something I figured out the hard way. So it's been about there's a day there, so it's been, been about two or three days here. Why? Science. That's why. Wait, I think they got us in their paddock. Let's go have a look. So, male and female, they should be quite comfortable in there, because that's got a lot of vegetation and stuff in there that they're going to like. So let's have a look. They don't seem to want to eat me anymore. Well, we definitely put the omnivorous theory into motion. Plenty of food in there. Yeah, you look at those corners, you're know, never getting out. And that's what happens at the end of Season 1 happens again. Yep, we need to make sure that never, ever happens again. Now that's for this series. Yep, walk on the outside of ah! Right, forget walking all that way. This series isn't gonna be quite as long as last series, so this series will probably be about nine episodes, not ten.
I know, I know, we're already on the fifth. But still, it might be more longer, I'm not entirely sure yet. Right, we're back. Um, yep, the, the terror bird is guarding my car. Um, Colin can throw it faster than Gaston, so that's a problem, so we're going to figure out a way around it. Um, the bike. I'm a genius. Still hungry? Yeah, you still you still peckish? Yes, he is. Everything's on peckish. Um. Roadkill. No, that didn't work. Right. Um. Crap. And jump. If you're under a car, you, know, you should not be able to jump on your under cars, so that's um, more science. Uh, turn, go down. Come on then, ah! Well, that's just me! Right. Let's figure out a way to catch this. I mean, we may just have to use the same method again. Right. Grab the jeep. The jeep's too slow to run, Flinkin. Look, we're gonna use the bike. So there's a pretty fast. So, put the bike here. Go, we're going straight. Cool. Um, Mr. Flinken, hungry? Eh, you peckish? Are you hungry? Right, keep yourself up. This is the craziest thing I've ever done. Here we go. Come on then. Up the hill. Drive by! Drive! Ah! This is not safe! Oh, full proof! Ugh. 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 This is the most dangerous. Right. Come on, you. Come on. Come on, Mr. Clinton. You're right there. Come on. Come on, then. Get the hell out of here. Ugh. <sighs> is it? Oh crap, it's there. Right, um, are you, are you hungry? Come on, follow me. Come on, you. Uh, close that door. Open this one. Close that one. Ow! Okay, that hurt. I will call you, um, Skull Smasher. Yeah, that, that's what I will call him. I'll call him Skull Smasher. That's, a, that's an accurate name. Oh, God. Um, teleport back to you. Right then. Now we've got all that done, comes the final job of the day. We're going back to rescue Titanus, which was the last of the Terror Birds. It was a bit bigger than Gastornus and a bit smaller than Kalinkin. And a little smaller than Fortress Rocks, basically the jack of all trades. I don't think it's going to make a good addition to Bridget Park. Right, um, I need to avoid you, because if you bite me, I'm probably going to end up being killed. Back! Here we go. So this is about ah! Why do terror birds always attack me so quickly? Seriously, can't they attack something else? 
Right, so this is 1.8 million years ago. So this is a very. This is the last days of the Terror Birds. What's in there? What the? Oh god. Dead Titanus. I'm being chased by something on type. Hello. Hmm. Not the hungriest of birds. That's a smile at all. But that's not a the tail. That, that's a. That's a bit small. I think that's a gracilis. Yes, I'm referring to a subspecies. Um. Hi. But let's get you back to the park, eh, okay? Mr. or Mrs. Titanic? It's probably a girl. It's probably a girl. Yeah, let's, let's... Oh, crap. Run, 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 run. TP. Where's the terror bird? Funny. It's doing a another Roadrunner impersonation. Is absolutely anyone surprised? Um I've got an idea. Run, jump. Come on. I'm gonna use the cat as protection. Open close bracket, that was not working. Wait, is the terror bird going after the smile of them? Uh, I think they're, they're I'm thinking about it. This one's thinking about attacking me. Well, are you hungry? Nope. Are you? No, right. That's probably why they're not attacking each other. We got lucky there, so um, let's keep looking. Right, I think we should probably make our way over here. All these horses around. I suppose they would be common in the area. The terror bird up there, right? Um, let's skip till day again. Why is it up there? No, 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 You're gonna want to eat me now, aren't you? Come on then. Clumsy. That's what we'll call you, we'll call you clumsy. Come on boys. Free food. No, they're too busy eating me. Um, pond, that, go. Right. There's all oh, smiles on this area. Oh god, no! The Titanus! It's been killed by the saber tooth! Damn it! Alright, let's. Damn, I wish we'd been able to see more of that. Really wish I'd seen the end of that duel now. Oh god. That was, um, brutal. Um, now what do we do? That was in a, that was the, the Titanus dead. I don't think the species is going to have that many, wait, what's this? 
There's also. Oh my god, they're babies! Um. I have an idea. I got an idea. Um. I'm gonna use myself as bait. This is, um. Question of the air strike. Come on, boys. Come on, lads. Come on. Yes! And that fun. Be happy about something. Bite me, pup. Right, should we try a second? Good old skull smasher. He's hopefully gonna be very happy. Yes, he still he still wants to eat me. Not today, Sunny. Not today. So guys, thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Next time, we'll be going back to the Jurassic again to rescue one of a cousin of the Lothosaurus that took the whole horn thing to a new to a new level, Ceratosaurus. So, stay tuned for that. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.